Hello and welcome to the section of the Chemistry Tutor. Here we're going to put together a lot of the knowledge and skills that we've gained in the previous few sections with oxidation number. And we're going to use it to look at redox reactions and look at the change in the oxidation number from the left hand side to the right hand side. And we're going to use that to figure out what's being oxidized and what's being reduced. Uh, now you can see and remember that before we did some of this sort of idea with half reactions um, and that was certain you know easier sort of things that we that we could use half reactions to go figure out what was oxidized and what was reduced but the oxidation number method which is what we're using here can be used for really any chemical reaction any redox reaction and so what you're looking for is a change in the oxidation numbers of something and you know, if you don't have any change in any oxidation numbers of any elements anywhere in the reaction, then it's not a redox reaction. That means there's no electrons transferred, so it's not redox. And so when you see something increase or decrease in oxidation number, that's what you're looking for. So specifically, the definition of what we're looking for, for oxidation, is very easy actually. It's the increase in the oxidation number. So if oxidation is defined to be the increase in oxidation number, then reduction is defined to be the decrease in the oxidation number in a chemical reaction. This is really important stuff. And in fact, you know, a lot of students, when they get in chemistry, they start getting confused because I already told you a definition for oxidation and reduction. I had I told you we went in excruciating detail that that was talking about electrons being gained or lost. And then we talk about oxidation number, and then I'm giving you a different definition. So people say, well, what are you doing? What's right? Why are you giving me all these definitions? Well, you know, it's just another way of looking at the same process. All right, and I'll say it again. There's just another way of looking at exactly the same thing. This definition is not in conflict with what you learned before. They're, they're both true. It just turns out that, that assigning oxidation numbers is something we know how to do uh, based on the rules that we have learned. So once we have those oxidation numbers, if we look on the left-hand side of the reaction and we see something that increases an in oxidation number, it means maybe uh, something has oxidation number one on one side of the reaction and it goes to oxidation number seven on the other side. So it's increased in oxidation number. Right? We know how to find these oxidation numbers. We can see if it increases. And if it increases, we know that that, that entity that we're talking about has been oxidized. And we already talked before that anytime you have oxidation, you must also have a corresponding reduction, right? Because it's a gain and a loss of electron. 